Hey, this is Anthony Ha. I am outside the TechCrunch offices. We're about to head over to AT&T Park, where uh, the course for the force is about to begin. And we're going to see a bunch of people running in Star Wars costumes for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So let's go. We're here with Adam Borden, um, and he just finished running the uh, course for the Force. Um, how did you hear about the event? Uh, well, I heard about it last year just following uh, Nerdist and, and Star Wars in general, and then uh, when it came up this year again, I was like, "Oh, I can't pass it up. I need to sign up." So, uh, yeah. So it's it seems you know having talked to a couple other people, it, it's it seems like it's like this we not weird, but like sort of like it's it's very specific intersection of interest that you have to be you know in, in decent physical shape into Star Wars, you know probably into the cause to a certain extent yes. too um, I mean so like is that is, does that describe you uh, pretty much I mean I, I, I kind of dabble in all sorts of geekdom and 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 most most Star Wars geeks are, are stereotyped as out of shape and sort of <laughs> can't run so it's nice to sort of be sort of brush away the stereotype and say hey look we're Star Wars geeks and we're in shape too so I see you've got this this helmet maybe you could hold it up and we can get it on on camera um, did you did you make the helmet yourself or did you buy uh, it no, somewhere the, the well it, it was it, it's <laughs> initially it's a, a Jango Fett helmet from uh, from the old the the original Boba Fett ones are really hard to find so okay. I just repainted it and uh, added a, a sweatband as if uh, Boba was going on a uh, 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 to the gym. You know, being a Star Wars fan now, that can mean a lot of different things. I mean, how how would you how did you find Star Wars, and how would you sort of characterize your your fandom? I was a fan very early on. Loved all the action figures, and and just I've been a huge fan forever. And and it's it's sort of this opportunity came by, and it was Star Wars related and nerd related, and it worked out. <laughs> Hey, I'm here with uh, Charles Yoakum. Uh, he just completed his uh, little his his segment of uh, Course for the Force. Um, how did you hear about the event? Uh, my wife, actually, who's a huge Star Wars fan, found the link online and sent it to me with a "You must do this." And she's right. I read about two paragraphs in. I said, "Great, make a wish, running Star Wars, going to con." I'm I'm signing up about two par paragraphs into the email. Uh, and, and you're local as well, so you didn't have to travel too far. Very true. This was right, uh, not in my backyard, but pretty darn close. So fun to get, easy to get to. Uh, so tell us a little bit about your costume. Han Solo, awesome, cool character, lots of fun. Also, not didn't require wearing about 50 pounds of equipment, so I was happy to do that. Uh, unfortunately, lacking the proper Han Solo blaster, I pulled out the Philip K. Dick Blade Runner blaster that I had a replica of, but at least it's still Harrison Ford, so I want to get a pass on that. How would you describe just sort of the general experience of it? It just seems kind of surreal. It's surreal and fun at the same time because it allows you to sort of do something really good for charity and indulge your inner geek for five minutes and uh, also it, just be able to sort of play to the crowd. It's kind of fun to put on the extrovert hat for a few minutes and do that as well. I'm here with uh, Jaime Gutierrez, um, and this amazing Iron Man costume. There's even a helmet, which which is uh, which is up front. Um, what was it like running in this costume? I, it wasn't running. It was like trying to p keep up with my nephews. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm wearing a heavy armor here. How how did you uh, how did you put this together? Uh, plans on the internet using foam and hot glue and a lot and uh, spray paint. Uh, how how long uh, how long did it take? Three months. Wow, it's 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 amazing. Um, and so, like, did you ha feel like you had to sort of practice and get used to the uh, to to the to the motions before you could do this? And all honestly, I only tried it on once because I knew that I only I uh, built it so that it would only last only a few hours. Okay. <laughs> it was specifically for this run. Are you gonna go to a Comic Con this year? Oh yeah. What are you most excited about at the con? Partying. The con itself is like is great. I love it. A lot of cosplayers, a lot of photographs of cosplayers. But I learned a couple years ago is that what happens at the con at night is awesome. 
a lot of different parties going on, a lot of things happening. Bars are fun. See a lot of things happen at night with a bunch of cosplayers and just seeing the environment there. A bunch of nerds getting drunk, that's awesome. <laughs> How excited are you for the new Star Wars movies? I'm really excited, plus uh, the fact that uh, someone else is helming it in a sense, that uh, you have J.J. Uh, Abrams writing for it and doing uh, uh, kind of headlining it. It's like, he did pretty well at Star Trek, so I'm, I'm actually comfortable with uh, what's happening now. Cool, well, congrats, and, and again, you know, this is, this is amazing. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.